Hi. This is probably one of the most important paradigm shifts. We all know that nobody is ever trying to get hurt, which means that nobody would ever plan to have a serious injury, which means that something unexpected had to happen. But not everybody's figured out that essentially there's really only three sources of unexpected events. Either you do something unexpectedly, somebody else does something unexpectedly, or the equipment breaks or malfunctions and it does something unexpectedly. So which of these three sources do you think is the highest, or what do you think the percentages would be for each category? And if we ask the same question to all of the people you work with, your coworkers, your associates, what do you think they would say the percentages are? Okay, now, just think about the serious injuries you've had so far, or as I used to say, stitches or worse. How many of those serious injuries were caused by the equipment breaking or failing unexpectedly? How many were caused by the other guy, not including contact sports? And then what was left over would be in the self area. Now if you think about just minor injuries like banging your shin or stubbing your toe, how many times did the coffee table do something unexpectedly? When you think of all the times you've cut yourself with a knife or a razor, how many times did somebody else bump into you? So when you think about just how high the self area is, like I said, for most people, this is a huge paradigm shift. But the next one might be even more important.